Welcome back to English Made Interesting. Let us begin by discussing the answers to the exercise given in the previous video. Do the corrections in the following sentences. So the corrections made are the sentence should begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. The proper nouns should always be written using capital letters. The second exercise rewrite each of these sentences in the plural form. My clothing is too thick for this weather. So in the plural form you will have to write our clothing are too thick for this weather. Clothing is always written as clothing only even in the plural form. I have little freedom at home. In the plural form we have little freedom at home. That boy has no intelligence at all. Plural form those boys have no intelligence at all. The policeman controls the traffic. In the plural form the policemen control the traffic. She has little knowledge of music. In the plural form, they have little knowledge of music. She hasn't much furniture in her house. In the plural form, you will have to write, they haven't much furniture in their house. Furniture is written as furniture even in the plural form. In today's class, we will learn all about nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a name of a person, place, animal or a thing. It is also a naming word for qualities or ideas. I'll repeat, a noun is the name of a person, place, animal or a thing. It is also a naming word for qualities or ideas. Example, Rita is my friend. Rita is a name of a person and it is a proper noun. We went to the market. Market is a name of a place and it is a common noun. I have a pet dog. Dog, it is a name of an animal and it is a common noun. I read a storybook. Storybook is a name of a thing and it is a common noun. Now we'll have a look at the kinds of nouns. Proper noun. It begins with a capital letter. It does not require any article to be used before it. Example, India, Goa, Ram, etc. But there are certain proper nouns which are accompanied by the article the. Example, the Yamuna, the Tapti, the Ganges, the Himalayas, the Hindus, the Christians, etc. Days of the week, months, languages and festivals are all proper nouns. Now what is a common noun? It is a name given in common to any person or a thing of the same class or kind. Example, village, nurse, scale, school, table, chair, boy, girl, uncle, teacher, etc. Now, what is a material noun? It is a name of matter or substance with which the things are made. Example, gold, silver, iron, wood, milk, honey, water, bread, butter, 
आइस राइस ऑयल इंक एक्सेट्रा नाउ वॉट इज एन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाउ इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द वर्ड्स दैट एक्सप्रेस सम फीलिंग्स क्वालिटी एक्शन और स्टेट एग्जाम्पल लव एंग जॉय ग्रीफ सॉरो फ्यो ऑल दीज आर फीलिंग्स ब्यूटी ऑनेस्टी ब्रेवरी मर्सी ऑल दीज आर क्वालिटीज हैप्पीनेस चाइल्डहुड बॉयहुड यूथ फ्रेंडशिप इमेजिनेशन आइडियाज और ऑल स्टेट theft laughter moment flight all these are actions we can only think or feel about it it cannot be seen or touched it has no form shape size weight or color i hope you have understood abstract now next we will see what is a collective noun it is the name of a group or a collection of things or persons of the same kind taken together and described as a whole example army crowd swarm bunch flock gang team jury committee family party group etc it is the army of soldiers crowd of people swarm of bees bunch of grapes flock of sheep gang of robbers team of players etc now what is a concrete noun these are words that name things that can be touched example bricks pencils etc now what is a compound noun it is a combination of two or more words combined with a hyphen example great grandmother wise principal now what is a countable noun these are nouns that can be counted like pencils books chairs bags boy girl house etc words used to denote countable nouns are one two a few many some etc these are words that specifically name things that are singular or plural example five boys a dozen bananas common nouns and collective nouns can be included among countable nouns now we'll pass on to uncountable nouns these denote material substances concepts etc that cannot be counted example cotton sugar rice leaves stones cloth paper etc words generally used with these are a little much some etc these are words that name things that cannot be categorized as singular or plural example some milk a lot of fruits etc material nouns and abstract nouns fall in this group nouns can be singular or plural some nouns are always singular even when 
it refers to more than one example information news furniture jewelry clothing etc some nouns are always plural even when they refer to a single object example scissors jeans trousers spectacles etc some nouns remain the same in the singular and the plural form example agenda poultry deer hair fish etc but as an exception even fishes can be used as plural some nouns appear to be singular but refer to more than one example people police clergy etc some nouns appear to be plural but refers to a single noun example mathematics aerobics gymnastics etc nouns can be classified based on the gender as masculine gender example boys grandfather man etc feminine gender example girls grandmother lady etc common gender which refers to both male and female example doctors teachers lawyers etc and the last one is the neuter gender which refers to inanimate objects example table chair cupboard etc now we will move on to the exercise for practice identify the kind of nouns in the following sentences The second exercise for practice is identify the class name for all other nouns in that particular group. we will discuss the answers in the next video until then take care and stay safe